First, let's create a container by tapping the Add button. Follow my configuration on the screen. Take note that these settings are only for installation of the game to avoid error. You can add your SD card target path if you put the game installation setup folder in your SD card. Next, run the container. Navigate to where you put the PACE 2014 setup folder. Double-click Setup, EXE to start the installation. Click Next to proceed. Then select I accept the terms in the license agreement, and click Next. Registration code can be found on PACE 2014 Setup folder. Click up and double-click the text file name code. Next, scroll down to see the code. Any codes given are working. Just choose what you want. For this guide, let's choose the first one. Swipe back and tap the keyboard in order to input the codes. After you finish to input the codes, click Next to start the installation. The installation time is approximately 5 minutes. Now, click Finish to exit the installation wizard. Next let's install two necessary programs to run the game. We will first install WineGecko. Click Start, then System Tools and click WineGecko Installer. Now click Install to download the application. Make sure you turn on your Wi-Fi or data connection and allow the WinLater app to use an internet connection. Next, let's install the Wine Mono. To begin, click Start, then System Tools and click Wine Mono Installer. Click Install to proceed with the installation. The installation time duration is 6 to 8 minutes. Now, let's check if the two applications are already installed. Click Start, then Control Panel and click Add or Remove Programs to view all your installed applications. Navigate back to where you put your PES 2014 setup folder. Open the crack folder and copy the two files inside by swiping back, then tap input controls and select RTS as input control. Hold left control on screen button and click the two files, then click copy button. And paste it to the PES 2014 game directory.
Click Yes to replace the executable. Now let's start to set the game's configuration to be able for us to play the game. Double click Settings, EXE to open the configuration. As possible, set the graphics to low if your phone has a low end processor. After you finish configuring the settings, tap Enter on screen button to exit the settings. Now let's create a game shortcut by clicking the PES2014.exe, then tap MRB on screen button and click Create a Shortcut. Minimize the window to see if you successfully create a game shortcut. Now, you can exit the container. Next, let's set the settings so we can play the game by just simply copying what settings I change on the screen. After you finish setting up the settings, next we will edit the container to make the run the game. Just follow the settings on the screen. Check the performance cores of your processor for better performance.
Bienvenidos al estadio de Old Trafford. Hoy se enfrentan el Barcelona y el Real Madrid. So, here we go then. Barcelona against Real Madrid. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty and a warm welcome to you all. So, away we go. Barcelona against Real Madrid. Well, you can really feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of the biggest derbies in the world. The intense rivalry between these two huge Spanish clubs makes it one of the very best. A goal for Barcelona. They couldn't have asked for a better opening. Listen, scoring early doesn't guarantee you anything, but the first goal was always important, and that's a terrific opener. It just couldn't have been placed any better. Real Madrid are already trailing in these early stages. Mesut Ozil, Iniesta, now through to Messi, surely he can't miss, and the referee awards a free kick. Well, when your organisation is that poor, a professional foul is almost inevitable, and I think it was their only saviour. The referee just wants to have a word with him by the looks of it, probably about keeping his composure and his temper in check. And Barcelona with the free kick. The opponents just can't afford to concede any more goals. Messi! Nearly, but in football terms, nearly is nowhere. I oh, couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. That will encourage another try, though. The ball's with Benzema. Xavi. And Iniesta. Here's Messi. Messi shoots! They've done it! It's a comfortable lead now, two goals. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved to. He's got two in this game, he's on a hat-trick. Now it's 2-0. Well, that goal makes such a difference to the whole dynamic of this game. That second goal puts him in control now. Now Ozil. Mascherano takes advantage of a poor pass. Here's Iniesta. The ball is with Messi. He's bursting forward. Plenty of options. Who's he looking to pick out? They play it short. PK. Here's Cesc Fabregas. Iniesta with a big chance. It's a throw in. Oh, he's lost out there. Xavi Alonso. He's got possession now. Maybe a chance. Just the keeper to beat. Could be a chance now. 
That is way off. Oh, his instinct was brilliant, but not the finish. Xavi. Iniesta on the ball. Surely he's in. He makes his way towards the penalty area. There it is. They lead by three, and that may just about be that. He'll be taking the match ball home. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. We resume again. The score is 3-0. Di Maria. Now Erzil. Two more minutes is being shown on the board. Arbeloa cuts out what was really a sloppy pass. And there is half time. A three-goal difference between the two sides here. 